give me that portfolio. What is the meaning of this, Sandra? See if I don't try my patience. Give me that portfolio now. If it's because of the gun you're holding, you're asking for the portfolio. I won't give it to you. For the last time, Silver, give me that portfolio now. Shoot me if that is what you want. When you see this portfolio, I won't give it to you. already. 20 missed calls. Silver called all through the night. Jesus, what lies am I going to tell her now? I would have gone home immediately after the party. Why did I come here? I never knew you were a good dancer. You danced very well last night. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm late to work. I have to go home now. Otherwise, I'll be late, okay? Please. Such a darling. I enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> He's cute, romantic, he knows how to do it. Gosh. Oh, Chizaba, you found yourself a man. Oh, yes. And I hope this whole thing won't end here. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <sighs> I'm coming. I'm coming to join you. Hi. Um, yeah, um, were you talking to me? Oh yes. Uh, you see, I saw you when, when when you were coming. So let's say hi. My name is Prince. Oh, um, I'm Silver. Lovely name. Would it be nice if you call me Gold? 
<laughs> That's not funny, but I need to go. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. I see you're here for shopping, right? It's a supermarket, so obviously I'm here to shop. Okay, do you mind if I drop you off after shopping? Okay, that's fine, but first I need to get what I came for. Let's do that together. My gold. <laughs> With you today, what? Oh, you don't know. Hey, the hey. Go. don't try me. I'll win this game. You win what? Like or not. You win what? Went to of your game. Thank you, my darling. So, how are school today? Fine, Auntie. Oh, wait, so guess what? What? You can't guess. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I got you your favorite! Yes! Oh, thank you! You're welcome, my darling. Ooh. <laughs> Boom! Take a look at it. Biscuits? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite. I know! And your favorite. And my yogurt! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> thank you, Auntie. You're welcome, my love. <laughs> Mommy! Hello. Oh. Auntie Bartley, my favorite! Did you say thank you? Yes. Thank you, darling, my darling. So take your bowl and go inside. Okay, Mom. Okay. Well, baby's in the house. Silver is back! <laughs> I can see that. You're and I can welcome. actually see that your hands are heavy. Obviously, it is heavy. I want you guys to guess. Guess, guess, guess! Hello. I said guess. Come on, girls, guess. Okay, fine. Well, if you guys won't guess, I will just spill the bean. Well, today, Silver made some dollar, dollar bills. Oh my God! Not too fast, darling. Wait until you hear the story. Okay. Sit down. Okay. All right. Okay, well. So I went to the supermarket today, you know, to get some stuff for myself. And then I ran into this handsome guy. You know, we got talking. He offered me a lift. And who is Silver to say no? On our way, he told me that he just got back from UAE. He wanted us to see again. Yada, 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 whatever. That's not even the fun part of the story. Well, when he dropped me off, he asked for my contacts. And then he gave me this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, are you are you kidding me? <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Mm. <laughs> Please, my darling, the next time you're going to see this man, just make me your handbag. At least I need to meet this philanthropist that gave you such money just like that. Okay. <laughs> you said a man you met today gave you all this. My darling, without hesitation, I collected the money before working mad, they changed your mind. Yeah. You know? I collected the money. Okay. <laughs> well, sis, you know now. I will see. Really, I will see. Now, here, where here, nose, where smell. My darlings, let me go inside with my dollar bills, eh? Uh, you should take care of yourself. Uh, <laughs> I want you all. Don't follow. My sister, it is called dollar falling. Thank you. Uh, it's part of the happiness now. <laughs> But Silver should be very careful. Because I know she's in a serious relationship with someone else. Oh, please! Man, who doesn't like good life? Who wouldn't collect? I I'm to play, right? I'm to play and I'm going to so deal with you. I will so with hey, you. Hey, hey, hey! I just play. No, 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 it's not too six. Don't even try it. Play it again. You're already at uh -huh. I'm going to play. Three, you. three. Who is going to You're going to play. Fine, obviously. No, 
Um, I came to have a word with you. If I, I have nothing to say to you. Listen, I'm sick and tired of your cheating attitude. You need to leave. I have work to do. Can you, can you just hear me out? Can you just let me have my peace? What did you take me for? A fool? I called you over 20 times two nights ago and you were nowhere to pick up your phone. Obviously cheating with some girl and living the La Vida local life. Mm. And now you're here to tell me what? No, Cynthia, please. Just allow me to say a word, please. Listen, I... Go on, express yourself. What, what do you have to say? Nothing. Please, take your low life out of my office. I have work to do. Can you just get the hell out of my office? I don't want to scream, it's working hours. Please. It's alright. Do I need to call the security? It's alright, it's alright. My office today and took me shopping. Yes. 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 You mean you funny? You know, say sometimes you know get sense. I'm talking money, you are talking nonsense. Who is it funny? Is that the name of a street or a junction? I'm talking about my new Yankee friend, Biko. <laughs> Prince? Of course. Prince. <laughs> wow. Take a look at this. Feed your eyes. So Prince got all this from for you? Oh well, yes, he did. A man you just met a few days ago. My darling, <gasps> Prince got everything for me. What can he leave go? And he even transferred money to my account this afternoon. <laughs> how much? How much? How much? I say I say how much? I am not telling you. Please, <laughs> please now tell oh me. God. Expensive. Make a wise to maybe she back. I don't know. Please tell me how much did you send into your account? Auntie, I said I am not telling you. I mean, just pity for your generation. Take one dress there. Really? Well, I said one, no. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, I love this color. It's so beautiful. Mm. I know you like that. <sighs> Let me see if the maybe is back. So beautiful. Uh -huh. Since you're taking the one you want, huh? Oh? Let me drop this. Make I don't see your hand okay. for this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this dress. Siva is very, very lucky with me. I just pray if Annie won't know about this. Because he would never be happy to see Silva dating another person. My home. This is where I feel. Hmm. Really nice. I mean, the environment is cozy, so much shade, a lot of places to relax. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> it looks natural. Yes, very natural. 
Alright, let's go in. My father will be waiting. Um, I'm a little bit shy and scared at the same time. Why? I don't know. Oh no, my father is free minded. Okay, let's go. Sure. <laughs> this way. Oh, that, that, that's my father. Right? Is she the one? Oh yes, she's the one. Ah, this is cool. Ah, I'm impressed. Thank you, Mama. Your eyes like your father. Oh. Thank you, Mama. Oh. That's wonderful. Once again, you are welcome, my daughter. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yes. <laughs> Let's go inside. Oh, sure. I'm sure. sorry. We're not forgetting something. You bought something for Papa. Oh, yeah. that's true. I'll be right back. Please do that. You're a nice woman. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. But you don't remind him that's a very good thing. That's so good Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I like your father. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to ask something. Okay, go ahead. What was it he was telling you in your ears that made you laugh? <laughs> Come on, you, tell you me. You want to know? Yes, of course, I want to know. I mean, I saw him whisper to you and you started laughing. I got curious. What did he say? What's so hard? What did he say? Okay, yeah, it's not really hard, actually. My father said he likes you. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Really? Oh, yes, he did. So, is it go ahead? Okay. <laughs> so, um, very soon we will be coming to see your people. You mean you and your father? Yeah, to do the needful. I thought you said you were going to come alone. No, I have to come with my father. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't come alone when I have a father. So I'm just coming for us to do the necessary thing and you will become my wife. That sounds good. <laughs> and you said you have a sister. How come I didn't get to meet her? Because she's in school. Oh. Yeah, she's in 200 level in the university. He said he likes you like and really, you are really? pretty. But I'm not gonna say that so your head don't go. <laughs> <laughs> My head is big already. <laughs> he, he likes you and you're pretty. He likes your voice, the way you laugh, and your dimple. Like really, really like. You saw the dimple. Like really, really like. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I am not a troublemaker. Don't mind, mommy. You are not a troublemaker. You're such a sweet boy. Let's oh, go, really? Aisha. Yes, I'm sure. Hi, Maybe. Let's go. Please wait, wait, wait. Please wait. Let's go. To maybe. Exactly, is he doing in this town? Oh, God, I don't ever want to see that man again. I don't want to. Thank God I didn't give him the opportunity to follow us. Jimmy, 
You're still looking worried. And if I may ask, who was that guy? Sorry, sis, I do not want to talk about it. You can talk to me. I mean, are you in some kind of trouble? Did you... Are you alright? No, I, trust me, everything is fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay, if you say so, I'll let you be. But trust me, I'm not buying the story. Something is definitely wrong with you. John K? No. Not again. God, please take that, that beast out of my life. I don't want to have anything to do with him again. I'm sure he's coming back to ruin it. He can't ruin me anymore. I hope she ate before taking her medication last night. She did now. Right. You're supposed to run another test this morning. Make sure you take a space in there. Okay. Have it. How are you, my dear? Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Thank you, dear. Have you eaten? No, don't. Make sure she eats before giving her any medication. Okay, ma'am. Alright, later you bring the file to my office. Okay, ma'am. How is she? Okay, she's asleep. Alright, later. I was on ward run when you called me. Thank you, exactly. So you came back a few days ago and you decided not to let me know, right? <laughs> you thought I wouldn't know? Oh, please. So where are you at the moment? You are in my hospital? At the reception? All right, it's fine. Come inside. I mean, my office. All right. <sighs> wow. Yeah, come in. Come inside. My baby girl. Mm -hmm. Hello, Charles. This is an office. You're welcome. Just have a seat, please. Thank you. <laughs> so, how is work? Work is fine. So you came back three days ago and you never deemed it fit to let me know? Is that how you profess your so-called love? Baby, please don't blame me. No, I will blame you. Because this is what you always do. And you will put it on your business. I mean, why do you always do this to me? Baby, please don't talk like that, okay? No, I will talk like that. Because I'm tired. Charles, you're being too selfish with your business. I must have to tell you the truth. I don't like it. I mean, it's high time I told you everything that you've been doing because it's not nice. Listen, Charles, the way you express your love towards this relationship, it doesn't go down well with me at all. It's really getting on my nerves. All right, all right. I admit everything you said. I promise to change from now onwards, okay? You better do. All right, please, where are we going for lunch? Baby, are you still angry with me? You know, I hate it when someone tries to play on my intelligence. Charles, I never said you should leave your business. The only thing I said is that you should have time for me. I mean, I deserve it. Come on. Baby, I said I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I will make you talk to you. I promise, I close my heart. Wow, baby. <laughs> I will make it up to you, okay? How is work? How is everybody? Take me to Octopus right now.
Growing up wasn't easy. As the only son, I was born in penury. But I told myself that I will have to work so hard to liberate myself from poverty. And I thank God today it's been it's been sources all all the way. It wasn't easy. Of course, I know it wouldn't have been easy. But look at you. You did it already. <laughs> exactly. Well, I did not do it. God did it for me. <laughs> I mean, of course, this is funny. You just... Oh, sorry. I have a call. Um, excuse me. Yeah, hello. Would you be kind enough to let me call you back? Please. Thank you. Um, that was an official call. Sorry about that. No, it's alright. So, you were saying? Yes, I was trying to tell you that I have finally found my missing Reap. And who is she? Well, previously, she was laughing at me. But right now, She's staring at me. Silver. Ever since I met you, I've grown to love you. Um, I've been so used to you. Uh, this is not um it's not something to joke about. I what don't you... look like I'm joking either. What are you doing? Save her. I love you. Please. I want you to be the mother of my kids. I want you to be that woman I call my own. I want to make your world colorful. Please. Marry me. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. The only thing I want you to say is yes, my prince. You see, there's my favorite verse in the Bible that says, The kingdom of God suffered violence, but only the violent take it by force so I just took my woman by force thank you What's the meaning of what? Where did you tell me you were when I called? I told you I was in a meeting. Oh really? Yes. Do you know I was here when I made the call? You hung the call on me. I asked your manager. He told me that you went out for lunch. Sylvia. Are you done? If I am, I mean I can't even believe this. What are you doing? You now monitor me around, even during working hours. Are you serious? Sylvia, you know I'm not monitoring you. I only come here during the lunch hours. Well, I'm going to make this clear to you. You can go ahead and monitor me for all you care. That is none of my business. I will live my life the way I want it, how I want it. Is that clear? Sylvia, are you talking to me like that? Wait, but by the way, who took you out for lunch? Oh my goodness, you're asking. I can't even believe this. Please, um, if I, as you can see, I am working. And this is working now. I wouldn't want your feelings to interfere with my work. So if you don't mind, use the door. 
Wait, wait, wait. You're walking me out of your office? Sylvain. I'm singing you out of my office, so please get out. It's all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please. Just let that idiot be. Your sweetheart, idiot. Sandra, can we not talk about this here, please? What? An engagement ring? Oh, come on, Silver. Just, just do what? Just get your silly self out of that office. I already submitted your CV to my manager, so get your ass off. We need to see you. Right now. But shut up. Okay. Not a word to me. Honestly, girls, I don't know what came over me. I just found myself yielding to everything he said to me. I tried so much to resist the engagement ring, but he, he forced me to take it. So why are you worried? Someone gave you such a precious gift and you're here budging yourself. Over what? To maybe. Why are you calling my name? What have I done wrong? Oh, she should have returned the ring. That is not what I'm saying. What exactly are you saying? Silver has gone far with Ifine. And it will not be wise to disappoint him at this dying minute. There is nothing like dying minute. All the while that Silva was with him, why did he not propose? Oh, so now that someone that is very, very serious has done that. So we should die. My dear, follow the person that is very, very serious. Girls, I'm just confused. I don't even know what to do at My this point My darling sister, you shouldn't be confused. The best thing for you to do now is to get married to Prince. So Simple. That's the truth. Who is he fine? That Casanova. Oh, oh, you didn't know. All he wanted to do was to sleep with you and dump you. <laughs> but it's quite unfortunate for him. He didn't work out. So maybe don't judge it that way. Don't tell me not to judge anybody, my dear. I am speaking the truth. Oh, yes, I am. Well, I, I, I don't know, Prince. I haven't met him. But with what you told us about him, I know that he's very rich and responsible. Not that pauper. If I knew Diego, does he have anything? Silva, don't mind baby. She don't tell her not to mind me. Huh? Okay now, nah. you settle for less. Settle for less. Okay. You said you met the young man not too long ago? Yes, ma'am. He said he really likes me. He wants to marry me. So I asked him to come and see my people. He said he wants to come this weekend. Really? <laughs> um, do you like him? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what about the young man you told me some time ago? Are you no longer with him? Well, it's not like I'm no longer with him. But I don't see any seriousness in him. I'd rather not lose this person and at the end of the day he disappoints me. Anyway, the choice is yours. Hmm? Let's wait till he comes. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's okay. You know I love you, right? And you know I love you more. No, but I love you more. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend is fine. It's yes, okay. yes, sure. <laughs> and um. This is almost 5 p.m. Are you sure that your man is genuine? Eh? How could he fix an appointment and he's not picking his calls? At least we'll be calling him for some time now. I really don't know what is going on, mother. But I suspect something is wrong. My prince has never rejected my calls before. Then continue calling him. Maybe he's not close to his phone or he's sleeping. He has no reason not to be with his phone. 
He was the one that fixed his appointment. What kind of disappointment is this? He's still not picking up. I'm just tired. What is going on? Mom, you seem not to be bothered about this whole thing. So what do you expect me to do? Eh? Am I the young man that likes to say that he's coming to see her people? But Mom, you should have been more concerned. She's human. Oh my God, I can't wait to get to the house. Silver Streeters will be coming today. Yeah, who's that coming? Good day, Mom. Yeah, good day. Ma, there is an emergency, an accident victim. He's in a critical condition. So, why are you here? You should go and meet Dr. Nat. He's the one on duty. Okay, go meet him. Okay, Ma. Now I'm done for the day. Start. Oh, where did I keep this file? Who? Oh. Ma. Dr. Nat is not in the office and his phone is not reachable. What is wrong with you? This is a professional work for crying out loud. I am not on duty today. I'm leaving. Look for Dr. Nat wherever he is. Please. What is the meaning of this rubbish? Are you even mad? Why are you playing with my father's lap? Who got there? Mama, I'm worried. Worried? Why? Mama refused to tell me my dad's name. He flogged me in school because I couldn't answer it. Okay. Don't worry. If she comes back from work today, she will tell you, okay? Don't you know it? Go and change your school uniform first. Promise me that when I come back, you're going to tell me my dad's name. Okay. I promise you, when you come back, I will tell you his name. Okay? Just calm down, okay? All is well with your father. You can take your call. No, I'll, I'll answer the call later. But how, how is he? Will, will he be fine? We succeeded in stopping the bleeding. What actually happened? I mean, how did the accident happen? I, I wasn't there. But eyewitness said he was trying to cross the road when a hit and run driver knocked him down. Oh, that's really sad. But don't worry. We're doing everything possible for him to be strong, okay? So just take it easy. You can take your call. Come on. I will get a call later. No problem. Thank you so much, Dumebi. You're welcome. We will talk when all of this is over. I'm, I'm going to drop my number so you call and I'll talk. It's good. Hello? Hello? Prince. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? What do you mean you're sorry? What happened? You've not been taking your calls. Uh, can I call you later? I can't talk right now. Wait, wait, Prince. I don't understand what you're saying. What do you mean you call me back? What is going on? I can't talk right now. We'll talk later. Prince, let... Hello? Hello? It's fine. Oh, it's well. For all this perfect. 
What happened? He says he can't talk. What is going on? Meaning what? No. Before I could say a word, he he hung up. Let that guy not disappoint you. I mean, I just don't get it. What's the meaning of that? Do, do you think he will disappoint me? I just pray he won't. Okay. Just don't cry, please. Mom, mommy, did you buy my um, biscuit and yogurt? I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I was in a haste, okay? Do not worry, I'll buy for you tomorrow. Yay! Thank you, Mom! Mm, you don't have a problem, my love. Okay, Mom. Um, I hope you're fine. Yeah. Mom, are you alright? Of course, my son, I'm fine. I'm alright. Are you sure? Of course, my son. I am fine. Alright? Go and meet grandma, okay? I'll see you later. Okay, mom. Alright, baby. I love you. I love you too. Did you later see the principal, like you said? Yes, I saw him. So how did it go? He gave me some days off. He said I have to go to the hospital. He even assisted me with some money. Mm, that's very kind of him. Yes. So when I got to the hospital, I met a doctor who advised me to go for pregnancy test, which I did. Pregnancy test? Yes. And funny enough, <laughs> he turned out positive. Really? I'm pregnant. I'm three months pregnant. And, um, are you surprised? You're not saying anything? No, no, not really. I'm just, um, I'm just surprised. Yeah, um, kinda. Because, but, but it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, the main thing is that I'm right here with you. Okay? I've got you. Hmm? And the good thing is that you have a few months, like two months to finish your service. So once you're done, I will come see your people. Hmm. Hmm? That'll be nice. So don't be scared. It's a good thing you're pregnant. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. No, I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> After so many years, he suddenly so faced after seven solid years. I mean, who does that? Where does it ever happen? Is everything all right? Everything is just fine. Your son, you said you're not happy. 
That's why I'm here to find out what the problem is. Chibuebuka said that to you? Yes. He said, Grandma, my mother is not happy. Please go and find out what the problem is. And that's why I'm here. That my child is very intelligent. That means he was obviously observing my mood while I was talking with him. Exactly. So, did anything happen? Not really. I I only met his father today. Whose father? Chukwebuka's father, of course. Where did you see him? He's the one calling. Hello? Please, I'm very busy right now and I cannot talk to you. I'm with someone. I said I'm with someone. Is he married now? Mama, I don't know. I honestly do not care. I don't know. I mean, I don't even care. Such a wicked man. After everything he made me pass through, now he has so faced. How? Oh, I don't care. So, Mom told me you met him because father today. Yeah, it's true. He brought his father to our hospital today. So what was his reaction when he saw you? We were shocked. We were both shocked, honestly. We never expected to see each other. Although um, we didn't have time to talk because his father was critically down. Sis, do you think he's going to come back to you? Come back to me? I mean, how? Even if he does, I won't accept him. But mom has been so, so worried about Ibuka. I don't know why this boy is disturbing these days that he should be told the name of his dad. Mm -mm. Tell mom that I said no. Nothing of sorts should ever happen. Please. Can we discuss something else? Uh huh. What about Siva? Has she been able to tell you why Prince disappointed? They have not talked yet. Are you sure that guy is real? Because no responsible person would behave the way he did. Sis, I'm, I'm so confused. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> so confusing. Same here. I have nothing to say. Let me just keep my mouth short. <laughs> Up to now, Prince has not called to tell me what happened. What is he up to? Unknown color. This is the time you're calling me. Siva, you've not been sleeping. Unknown color. Pick your call. I am not taking this call. He can call for eternity. I am not going to take his calls. Who is that? Is that Prince? Yes. Why is he calling by this time? <sighs> he did not call since evening and now he's calling you. Just pick up the call and know what he has to say. Please, I am not going to trash this issue over the phone. I'm not going to have a talk with him. I don't call her. found out why Silver Sitter did not come yesterday. I have no interest in that. Silver should find out and tell us. Mom, how can you say you have no interest at all? I don't understand. Am I Silver? She should be the one to make the inquiries and give us feedback. Mommy, I'm not against that. This is Silver Sitter we are talking about here. Sandra. Why are you so much 
bothered about an issue that does not concern you. Eh? Silver sheets are not visiting. It's not a problem in this house. Is it? Rock. What did I do now? Maybe... I never thought that I would ever see her again. What about the three months pregnancy? Did she terminate it? I know you're very angry. Wait, 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 what do you mean I should calm down? What was that you did yesterday? Anyway, I came to say thank you for embarrassing me yesterday. Thank you. Baby, please, it wasn't really my fault. Okay. I was already on my way coming to your place. But then I got a phone call that my father, who was coming from the village, had a fatal accident. I got devastated when I got to the scene. What? Yes. Your father had an accident? Yes, a, a very serious one. Just that I, I thank God for his life. Um, through the, the doctor I, I, I met at the hospital. She did something really nice at least. It's, it's getting better. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. You should have told me. You kept me in the dark. I know. I was devastated by the news. I know I should have called, but the whole news got me... Got me messed up. It's okay. How how are you? I hope you're fine. I'm okay. And how is your father? He's much more better. Oh, this is so sad. Baby Queens, I'm, I'm sorry for everything. I'll make it up to you. I'll explain to your people oh, when I come. Come on, it's okay. It's fine. Alright? I hold nothing against you. I just want your father to be alright. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's, let's go in. But I think we should go to the hospital to see him. I mean, we can't just sit here all day doing it. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. You're right, my love. Oh, it's okay, let's just go. I don't want her to accompany me to the hospital. So I can at least have some privacy with the baby. But the truth is that Silva will not be happy if she finds out. Okay, babes, I'm ready. Right. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Can I call you back, please? Thank you. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Baby, I really don't think we can go now, but like today. Maybe we'll go tomorrow. Why? I got an emergency call from a friend. I think there's a very big problem. So he needs my attention. And you're sure everything is alright? I wouldn't know until I get there. Your father, how is he going to cope in the hospital without you visiting today? My sister, my sister is around. She came yesterday. Oh. Okay, that's that's fine. I thought I was actually going to see him today. But it's okay. We could go tomorrow. Sure. Yes, it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. But just be careful when you get to your folks' house, okay? Sure. I'm nothing to worry about. Alright. I'll just run along. You take care. Bye. And remember to call me. Sure, I will. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. There are two women in my life. What has come over you? Eh? I will call you, not big my call. Even when you do, you tell me you call me back. At the end of the day, nothing. You won't. Obviously, you have been calling my phone. I choose to pick up my calls when and how I want it. And why in God's name are you even shouting at me? Why wouldn't I shout at you? Why would I be angry at the change of attitude? Oh, good thing you know there is a change of attitude. But you started it. I started what? Tell me, what did I start? Be fine. Obviously, you came here to tell me something. Please be quick about it. It's sunny. I need to go inside. Wait, wait. I should tell you what I came to tell you so that you go inside. No, I will stand at the gate and listen to you. Do I look like a gate woman? Do I work here? Mr. Man, say what you have to say no, so I could leave. I can see it from your countenance. It shows you've started seeing another man. Aha! Uh -huh. Same way I know about your numerous mistresses. You know you lie. God bless you for that. Good! Five years of relationship. Nothing to show for it. Not even a ring. And you stand in front of my gate to talk to me like I'm your slave. Have a nice day. Don't step an inch. Come, come, come back here. I should come back here. No, I'm talking to myself. You're talking to myself. What is wrong with this idiot? I mean, why does he keep calling my phone? After shouting at me, he thinks he's just going to be so much color. I shouldn't even bother calling him again, else I'll just block his line. Imagine the rubbish. Color. What in God's name is just wrong with this? Sis. Yeah, what up? Um, sis. Mm -hmm. Are you having a problem with Ibrahim? Why did you ask? Because he just called me now. He said you've not been picking his calls and the next thing you switched off your phone. Oh, wait a minute. If I called you, Yes. Sis, what's the problem? You know, I've told you not ah, to... Okay, Sandra, please. Please. You and I know that if I is a cheater. What? I mean, what in God's name have I been doing with that man? Whatever we shared is over. Sis, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. You've, you've been dating if I for five good years now. And when has dating somebody for five years without knowing his way forward become an achievement? What am I supposed to do with that? Since I know why I'm telling you this. No, you don't know why you are telling me this. And this should be the last time you would bring up this discussion. Do I make myself clear? Okay. Thank you. I won't do that again. Why that even had a ghost to call my sister? Can you imagine? Eh? I hate to say this, but go now. You're wicked. You deceived and abandoned me for doing absolutely nothing to you. If not for my profession, I wouldn't have answered you the day you came into my hospital with your father. Well, do maybe. If I were in your shoes. I will probably say the same. 
But I want you to understand, it wasn't my fault. And whose fault was it? Mine? No, it's not yours either. Then but what happened? I was arrested. That's what I'm trying to say. I was arrested the night I left your place. Arrested by who? Anti-court. For what? <laughs> it was crazy and, and funny. That night I left your lodge, they said, that I was a, a, a notorious kidnapper, that they've been looking for me, I've been on their wanted list, I've been terrorizing the area, on and on. They took me to the police station and detained me for like a month, two months, three, four, five, six months gone. It was in the seven months that they caught the call print. And, um, you know, they said that we are sorry, we thought it was, it was that person, and that's how they freed me. They took my phone, my wallet, even... Why didn't you find a means to call me? That's what I'm trying to say. They, they took my phone and my wallet, and they refused to give it to me. I came out and went straight to your lodge, but they said, you have traveled. I searched everywhere for you. I, I asked your friend everywhere, but there was nowhere to get you. This is quite unbelievable, honestly. Well, it's fine. So where have you been all these years? Well, I got this connection from my cousin in Dubai. I traveled to Dubai. I came back um, last three months. Thank God for your life. You're welcome. I also thank God for your life. Today, you're now a big medical doctor. Thank God. To maybe. Please, forgive me for all that happened. Let it go. I'm glad we meet again. Does it really matter? Of course it matters, because the last time I checked, you're not a married woman. And you think I've been waiting for you or what? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, my dear. I am in a very serious relationship. So, what about the three months pregnancy? you had back then what exactly do you want from us Gwanaya? I've told you I can never come back to you again never just leave me be well then maybe that is impossible I cannot let you go I still love you hmm I see Hello? 